So a bunion happens for some people. Um, it doesn't happen for everybody, but it can be hereditary or it could be from wearing too tight of shoes over a long period of time. It's usually hereditary though. What happens is the big toe bone shifts. And when the big toe bone shifts, the actual big toe shifts towards the second toe. That creates a bump on the side of the foot right underneath the big toe. Sometimes it hurts, sometimes it doesn't hurt, but when it really hurts, it's very uncomfortable for you to find a good pair of shoes that you can walk on uh, without having any pain. If the bunion indeed is becoming an irritation, number one, you see a lot of redness when you're wearing your shoe and you can't fit into normal shoes, where you have to cut a hole in your shoe to accommodate the bunion, that's when it's becoming a problem. And it's better to intervene it earlier then rather waiting until later, when you're getting a little bit older and it will become a little bit more arthritic. Typically what we do in minimally invasive surgery is creating a very small incision um, that is four to five times smaller than a traditional bunion. And by creating that small incision and not violating and creating a huge scar tissue in your joint, um, we are able to decrease a lot of swelling and a lot of pain and preserving the joint motion as naturally as possible. The goal of the surgical procedure is not only to correct the bunion for a straighter looking foot and a toe that is not pushing up against the second toe, but it is also to decrease the pain that's in that bump on the side of the foot. We're also taking away the pain that occurs within the big toe joint itself. What they will feel is a dramatic decrease in pain. So some patients will notice that not only is the bunion gone, as in the bump on the side of their foot, that is no longer there, but their big toe itself is now straight. The prognosis for this procedure is fantastic, and the recovery is really great. In minimally invasive techniques is essentially decreasing pain, allowing the patient to get back to full activities and be able to return back to whatever activities they were doing, and having the patient return back to their activity faster. Griffin Health, empowering people, advancing care.